Sumif is a function that allows us to total or sum a group of numbers based on a specific criteria. So for example, let's imagine we have a company that with different sales regions that sells different types of food products. And let's say that our manager wants to know what the total amount of sales is just for the hot dog products. So here we would be summing our sales amounts by a specific criteria, in this case, the hot dog product. So that's a good example of where we can use a sum if. Let's look at what a sum if would look like if we were to create it as an Excel function. So just like the basic Excel functions we've learned about previously, our function would begin with the equal sign, followed by the name of the function, sum if, and then our information would be in the parentheses. But unlike our basic functions, advanced functions like sum if have multiple pieces of information inside the parentheses. In this case, we have three pieces of information that we need to know to create a sum if. First, we need the range that we're going to be looking for our search criteria in. Then we have the search criteria itself and where we're going to find the numbers we're going to total. So in our scenario, we were looking to total sales amounts for our hot dog product. So the range is where we're going to go searching for the product hot dog. In this case, it would be column B, specifically cells B2 to B5. So our range would be cells B2 to B5. Then we have the criteria. In B2 to B5, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the product hot dog. So our criteria is the word hot dog. But inside Excel, anytime we're looking for a word or we're using text, that text always has to be in quotation marks. So we're going to add quotation marks around the word hot dog. Now the last piece of information that we have is once we found the word hot dog, where is the number that we're going to total or sum. So if our product is in B2 to B5, the amount we're going to total is in column C, somewhere between C2 and C5. So our sum amount would be in the range C2 to C5. So now we have a complete sum if statement, which basically says that we're going to look for the word hot dog somewhere between cells B2 to B5, and when we find it, we are going to get a total of the amounts that are contained in the range C2 to C5, and that is our sum if function. Now let's take a look at what that would look like in Excel itself. So here we have the same table of data inside of Microsoft Excel. And right here we're going to type in this same function that we created before. So we're going to say equal ooh, son, sum if, open our parenthesis, and then we need our range, which we decided was B2 to B5. So I'm going to select that range, comma, to move to my next piece of information, which is my criteria, which is the word hot dog in quotation marks. and then another comma to move to our next piece of information, which is the sum range, meaning the range where we're going to find the numbers we're going to total, and they'll be somewhere between C2 and C5. Close my parentheses, and it will total my two hot dogs, 36 and 41. 36 plus 41 gives us 77, so that's the correct answer, and that's how you create a sum if inside of Excel.